cannot. Nah. Can you help me? Yeah. How nice to have a friend. Nah. <laughs> Did it come down? Oh, yes, it came down. <laughs> oh, I got sweet. Yeah. My name is Hamida. At right now, I'm working with the most near my area. My name is Candice and I'm a retiree. Today, we'll be sharing about finding joy after retirement. Oops! <laughs> Cannot. Can you help me? Yeah. Sure. How nice to have a friend. <laughs> What are you most passionate about? Okay, I'm very passionate about making music and also to have a good time uh, about uh, bringing up my grandchildren. I use the skill future for my uh, high pain also to learn computer skills. Then I have TCM also, learning how to uh, understand what is TCM all about. Aww. Okay, uh, the most passionate uh, that I love to do is to meet people, to meet the community, to enjoy life gracefully with them. Yeah. I use the skill future for baking, to learn how to bake bread. From the baking classes, I meet a lot of people. How come I never get sweet? <laughs> yeah. Has anything added you in chasing your passion? Uh, with the senior bonus that we get uh, from the government, uh, I think it helps. We can use it to top up whatever you want to pay or whatever you want to enroll yourself. For me, I uh, use it for my transportation. Other than that, I think uh, whatever amount is being given, keep it for rainy days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did it come down? Oh yes, it came down. <laughs> Not rolled away. <laughs> Tell us something that others would never guess about you. I don't know. Le. <laughs> ah, my age. <laughs> Who will yeah. ever know my age? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Yes, I think it's an age. Uh, 58, not yeah. that far. <laughs> yeah, some say that I'm only 40 odd. Oh, how can it be? Could be my height, I don't know. <laughs> how do you plan your finances to make sure you have enough to live life fully for the rest of your years? You have to plan. So for me, I think uh, it's very important. We have to plan it so that we don't depend so much on others. I only have two sons, so I think I cannot depend too much also on my son because they have their own family. So whatever I get, uh, even for my salary or for my top up, top up from my Medisave or whatever, to make your life more colorful, going holiday, meeting people and see the places that you like, places of interest and so on. I like the idea of CDC voucher. Uh, it's cashless. So whenever you go to the shop, you just enter your, your smartphone and then go to the CC Boshi and you pay for it. It should talk about more, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do keep my sum of money for my own use. I don't splash on things like uh, expensive stuff like what uh, LV bag, you know, things like that. No, I just go on a kind of a lifestyle that is just sufficient for myself. But with my uh, no income kind of thing, I also have to be very stringent on how I spend on my uh, luxury. Throughout your journey, what was your proudest moment? Uh, proudest moment for me to help someone to overcome their down period, especially when you're working with community. Not everybody has spending power. So be able to advise them where to get help. Uh, when I be able to advise them and they manage to get to go overcome the financial problem, that is the greatest moment for me. My proudest moment would be uh, having to be able to play the ukulele. So eventually I got to teach uh, the seniors. I got sweet. Yeah. I'll share with you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I cannot. Can. But the sweet is a bit difficult to open. Huh? Yeah, no, that's why. No. <laughs> Bingo checklist. If you have done any of the following activities since your retirement, check out from the list. Shout bingo when you have completed a line. Bingo game. Okay. This is interesting. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay, you all have run once a week. Enjoy gardening. Ah, yeah. Yes. Enroll in a skill future course. Place the ukulele. Take care of grandchildren. Mm, yeah. 
regularly goes for Zumba. Oh, bingo! bingo. Oh, yeah! <laughs> High five. <laughs> Senior prefer to be alone. Not me, I guess. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I think the seniors now like to go down and meet people, to watch TV together at the void deck or the community centre. There's a lot of places that you can go during your first time. Do you want to be alone? No, not me. I like to have friends around me. <laughs> I like to age with people around yeah. me. Yeah. Well, I've actually seen some seniors refuses to move out of the house. So I'm here actually to more or less encourage to really come out of their house. That's the first brave step that they come out. They themselves will get to know what I'm doing and how active I am. And I'm a happier person by not staying alone. Emptiness is an uh, uh, existing thing where actually our mind cannot be placed actively. We have to move out of our comfort zone. Mm and get to know people. By giving, we actually receive more blessings. I try. You try? Uh, see whether it's got gung or not. Oh, cannot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you most looking forward to in this stage of your life? Actually, I'm looking forward to uh, my grandchildren growing up. As you grow older, this is the best part that you like love to do. Especially a grandmother like us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For myself, um, we have a weekend Zumba organized by HPB and also using the Active SG fund to join the Aqua Zumba. I'm not good at that. Huh? Don't look at wow, you know. Actually, I'm not good at it, but as long as you can move yourself in the water, then you have fun. Yeah. So I'm actually a cancer survivor. Way back then, uh, Medic Safe uh, cannot touch. So now with the top up and all that, so I mm. use it for my. Uh, my eye checkup now is very regular because I have uh, glaucoma plus that cataract is also coming on and also my heart condition isn't that good now so uh, I just use that money there. Uh, my BP I have to check regularly and right now it's better because it's connected to your smartphone so every Monday I will do a check on my BP so that the medical health will know whether it's, it's, it's good for you at LH. I think it's important for seniors when they go to clinic, polyclinic or to hospitals, right? The flyers that they have it there, read and understand. So, because sometimes there are a lot of free things that government is giving you. So make use of it. Why not? Yeah. What are your hopes for the future? For us, especially Singaporeans, of course, to, to live together, harmony, regardless whether which races you are, so we can stay together and help each other. Be engaged with the society, with the community, then we can have a harmonious family. Yeah. So how was this experience? I think sometimes you don't realise it no? that um, your daily life, you've been doing it actually, like meeting people but without asking or answering the question, you don't realise it that you have been doing it daily. I am truly uh, thankful hmm. and grateful for this thing here so that we can actually get ourselves sort Become of friends. Uh, friends. And I got a new friend here. <laughs> Thank you for watching For Real For Real. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! Bye.